Hi everyone, let's make this simple yam and gizzard stir fry. Now I was just thinking, if you're a lover of fried yam and gizzard and pepe, why can't you combine everything together and make a recipe out of it? Like it's very simple. So that's how I came up with this recipe and I can't wait to share it with you guys. Let's get started. Now for the pepper mix, I'm using my usual pepper mix. That's my red bell pepper, green bell pepper, onion, some pepper. And I made the chilies a lot because I wanted it to be very spicy. Added ginger and garlic and then I'm going to use my food processor to blend this. And the reason I'm using the food processor is because I don't want to use a blender which will require me adding water and will dilute the contents of the pepper mix, okay? Because I want it to be very spicy as it is. So that's that's why i use my food processor however if you don't have the food processor you can go ahead and use your blender to blend it okay now it doesn't matter it will work very well now go ahead and prep our gizzard for the gizzard i've washed it very well and i'm going to just season that with my pepper mix that i blended in my food processor add that to it add some parsley to it which is very optional now go ahead and season your gizzard with any seasoning of your choice as usual i'm going with my remy chicken remy beef and maggi combo and i'm going to use that to season my gizzard okay now give this a good mix and then cut this and let that cook or steam very well now when you're cooking gizzard you don't have to add a lot of water that's if you don't need a stock okay because gizzard has a lot of juice in it already okay now i'm going to prep our yam and for the yam i'm going to cut the yam into two peel your yams and there's a method i normally use when i'm peeling my yam because i'm a lazy girl when it comes to peeling yam like i hate peeling yam so much because it tends to make your body itch and all that i don't like it so i just slice them like this and then i start peeling it just like this okay now once you're done with that you're going to cut your yam into cubes okay now for the cubes you're just going to slice the yam into two and then cut them into the shapes anyhow you want to make your cubes it works for me there is no formula but this is the method i'm using you can go with this same method okay now once that is ready you're going to wash your yam make sure you wash your yam very well i couldn't shoot that so please don't forget to do that okay wash your yam for about three to four times so that it becomes very fresh and neat for your recipe now once you're done with that you're going to season your yam with just salt you can add sugar because i know adding sugar to yam makes it really really nice or you can even add some pepper to it but that's up to you salt is just enough for the recipe now you're going to go ahead and fry that after you marinate the yam for 15 minutes okay now for the frying you don't need to fry the yam for it to become crunchy there is no formula here this time because you are going to cook the yam or stir fry the yam so it will lose its crunchiness already so all you have to do is just fry it so it's well fried or properly cooked for the recipe okay now once you are done frying the yam you're going to go ahead and fry your gizzard that you cooked as well now when the gizzard is well seasoned and soft you can go ahead and fry it you can also decide not to fry it you can decide to grill it or you can decide to leave it that way okay they all work perfectly well please don't over fry the gizzard otherwise it will become too hard for the recipe you wouldn't want that when you're chewing it it will be too hard because the yam is already hard gizzard can be too hard it should be a little bit soft now let's make our sauce in the same oil that used to fry the gizzard obviously i took some out so you're going to add in some onions and then go ahead and add in the pepper mix and the little secrets right after you add the pepper mix go ahead and pour a little bit of the gizzard stock into that pepper mix and cover this and let that cook okay now this will bring out the gizzard flavor in the pepper sauce and you'd really like it now once that is well cooked you are going to season that with the seasoning that i use for the gizzard any seasoning at all works also okay you can put maggi cube you can just put anything at all that works for you in there and then give this a good mix and let that cook as well now once that is ready you're going to add in the fried gizzard and then the fried yam guys this combo was bomb like it was so 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 good what you're going to do now is just combine everything together give it a good mix let the pepper soak up the yam and the gizzard and trust me you're going to enjoy this so much now all i added was some vegetables just to bring out the flavor you can decide not to do that but trust me adding this mixed vegetables will upgrade the flavor and the taste and you'd love it so much okay now this is like a replica of gizdodo gizzard and kiliwili and trust me if you like gizdodo then i'm going to tell you that you're going to love this recipe as well now once that is perfectly combined i'm just going to cover it for five minutes and let that cook well and your yam and gizzard stir fry is ready you guys spiciness check flavor check everything check like it was given i love the recipe so much and i personally don't eat my food after i cook like i literally let my siblings eat everything but this particular one because i like pepe i was able to really eat it and enjoy it and i know you guys are going to enjoy it as much as i did and i can't wait for you guys to try it and let me know how it goes okay 
if you're an over sabi try and add plantain and sausages and enjoy it even more don't forget to like subscribe and share my videos bye